Let's move on to the random class. The random class is the random class. So we can get a random number through the random class. So to get a random number, mainly through it's a constructor. The no argument construction creates a random object. A parameter construct also creates a random object. And then a random range is specified. It's pretty simple to use. To create this object, then we can create a random number. If you write 100, the random range is from 0 to 100. First create this random class object first. So the range is from what to what. Print it and execute it. Open this he does not have a seed. Seed is to create a random number. You can specify seeds based on your parameters. Create a random object. Okay, so if I pass a 10 to C. Okay, execute. Then this result you see 7 and then execute. Isn't it going to be the same every time? So if you pass this seed, let's say it's 10. Its value range is from 0 to 10 but cannot get 10. Let's do it 100 times. Okay, then we're going to execute this num. from 0 to 100. But it cannot get 100. You say I come to a 100 times to execute. That's a random range in between. The graphs of the results of the two runs above show that. Our case, the order of the randomization is different. So without specifying a seed, the system will use the current timestamp as a seed. It's a millisecond value from 1970 to the present. So generate a random number. Since timestamp is different at each moment, the random number generated. The random number is different for each run. And it's seeding this piece with the timestamp. It can be negative. Okay, so then you can see. First run, second run. Each one is different. Okay. Let's test it together. At this point, we're going to create it in this position. Okay. Then we'll create an and nice in this position.
It's a random boolean. OK, and then randomize. Can I pass this? Can you see if it's passable? No, it can't. This time it is executed with a timestamp. Is it possible to do this by a decimal? That's all I have to say about random. Then it is used mainly in where. It's mostly used as a random number. And then it goes and extracts the number. So let's talk about. A random number applied to a scenario. Now we have a total of 4. We're going to do a random raffle for these 4. We need to take the subscript 0 to the subscript 3. What's the idea behind the random draw? First get a random subscript between 0 and 3. Then some of the random subscripts go through the subscripts. To get the prize. Ok, so this random bidding. Is it possible to utilize the the random class that we just learned, creating random objects? I can't get 3 from 0 to 3. That's why I should write 4. I can get a random number. And then I thought, it should get a random number every time it's called. That's why, it's better to split it up into a method. Then we are not. You can operate on it. Well, pass this array in. Basically, we get a random index of it.
In that case, you can get a random index of whatever ray I say. We just need to call this method. Pass in the array of strings. And then go to print. Execute. Third prize, right? And then execute. Each time there will be a possibility of execution. This is one of the applications of random numbers.